Your Excellency, it is great pleasure to welcome you to the International Criminal Court this morning and welcome Chile as a state party to the Rome Statute. Even as Chile sifts through its past by joining the Rome Statute, it has made clear uh, its commitment to the particular vision of a common human future. It is a future of accountability, a future of justice for war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. This future is being shaped here today. It is being shaped in our courtrooms, by investigations in the field, by outreach to affected communities, and through many other aspects of the court's work. But the ICC is a court of last resort, a future of accountability for the worst crimes is also developing in a broader context. Under the Rome Statute, the primary responsibility to credibly investigate and prosecute the perpetrators of atrocity crimes rests with states. At the national level, more states are developing the capacity and will to provide a first line of justice. Full realization of the Rome Statute system remains a daunting task. This court will play its part, working very closely with states' parties. Chile has joined as a partner in this endeavor. Chile's commitment strengthens the determination enshrined in the preamble of the Rome Statute that accountability for atrocity crimes can contribute to the prevention of such crimes. We're gathered here today to warmly welcome and congratulate Chile on its ratification of the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court on June 29, 2009. At the outset, let me express that, as a representative of a sister nation from Latin America, I am particularly proud to witness the accession of Chile to the Rome Statute. I am well aware of all the efforts deployed by the Chilean authorities in order to overcome the legal, political, and technical challenge in a path towards ratifications. These efforts were worth it and the result is a clear message to the international community of Chile's commitment to contribute to global peace and international justice. Chile's accession constitutes a significant accomplishment and a mile milestone not only for her, but also for Latin America and the international community as a whole, since we are advancing towards the cherished goal of universality. As of 3rd September 
we count 109 states parties, 13 of them from South America, which becomes the first region of the world where the provisions of the Rome Statute may be applied throughout its geographical express. A total of 396 million South Americans from the Caribbean coast to Cape Horn, from the Galapagos Island to Recife, are under the aegis of the normative regime that sovereign states established 11 years ago. We have the great, and I insist the great honor, to be invited to the court in order to celebrate the Chile ratification of the Rome Statute, which took place, as you well remember, Mr. President, last 29 of June, becoming Chile the state party number 100. And nine. With this important step, our country showed its maturity, complying with the pending appointment with the new parameters of international justice. Chile, like most of the government in Latin America continent, has lived the experience of authoritarian or dictatorial regimes, when seri serious violations of the human rights were committed. The restoration of democracy took place in a peaceful manner by a progressive evolution of reconciliation and reparation that affected the society as a whole. Because of this powerful historical reason, we are actively participating from the beginning in the elaboration and then ratification of the Rome Statute. With this background in mind, I would like to emphasize that although this achievement is the result of the effort of many sectors of our society. It is not all due to the personal interest of our president, uh, Mrs. Michelle Bachelet, who considered the achievement of the ratification a primary goal of her government. And behind that, I have to say, was a clamor, a national clamor, about a never again, nunca jamás, in our society, what was lived in my country, very unfortunately, for so many years. Last May, the President reiterated here in this, in this room her personal committem, commitment to you, Mr. President, when she affirmed that the ideal situation will be, if no case at all, will exist to be taken to trial, to trial in the court. Uh, special limited edition of the Rome Statute. Uh, uh, the, it, it symbolizes our commitment to the rule of law and the commitment of all state parties to this statute to honor. Thank you very yeah. much, Mr. President. Thank you.